Hello and welcome back to Nether Survival, where in this episode we are doing something that I have not yet done in this series, and that is making a farm. And if you're counting that as a farm, if I'm counting that as a farm, oh dear. But yes, we will be making our first farm in this episode that will basically secure our food source forever. I've tested this in the creative world and it is super good and we will be building it today. I have gathered all the materials in this chest right here and that is also why I have a bunch of this wood right here. But before we do that, I want to actually do a little thing that steps us closer towards the Siri goals um, which are on that board over there. But we'll do that in just a bit right after these few words from our sponsor, Humble Servers. Do you need a Minecraft server for you and your friends? Humble servers are your one-stop shop server hosting with extreme low prices. You can get unlimited slots and super good performance for a much lower price than other hosters. You can get a 4GB RAM server for only 8 US dollars in their supreme lineup using the Ryzen 9 3900 CPU. So go ahead and get your own server today down below in the description using the link down below which will support me and the channel. And remember to use promo code BINARY via checkout to save 25% off of your first purchase. Now it is very crucial that you go and do this right now otherwise the video will not be able to continue. I will be waiting. Oh that was wow you're, you're fast. Alright good we can continue now. All right, so uh, the, the, yeah, the thing here. So let's go down to the server board. Not the ser wow, <laughs> not the server board. <laughs> Yikes, the series board here, or the goal board. Okay, um, the yeah. Okay, so the one we will be doing today is make a full beacon. Okay, we I, I said that wrong. We will not be making that, but we will be stepping towards it. Basically, make a full beacon. So, if you are not already aware, actually, I have a series, um, an SMP series running with a group called Rebelcraft that I'm in, um, got invited to, and it's been running for a while now. But in that series recently, I made a full beacon. So, yeah, I kind of know, like, from that, I know how big the beacon is. So, we're gonna make that, like, the, just a quick platform. And for that, I actually need to go back down because I need some of this blue. Would, uh, basically the logs that Bob's um, shadow over here is made out of so let's just walk over here somewhere you know what this tree right here is good actually no it's not well yeah maybe it is all right let me get the mm -hmm. well honestly I just need like four logs and the rest should be good using slabs now I wanted to place this kind of close to the base I was thinking here but the base platform of a full beacon is a 9x9 platform. So if I count here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, so there is actually space here. Um, if it's a 9x9, and then I want to have basically a border around it, so it automatically becomes that 11 by 11 and we have a tw uh, Yeah, it gets a little tight here. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze. But over here, on the other hand, I feel like we could get a lot um, yeah, it could fit a lot better. Also, it wouldn't be all cluttered in one place. So I think we will be using our new netherite pickaxe. Don't worry, it has mending. We can upgrade it. Well, not upgrade it. We can repair it. Okay, I did not expect... Okay, I was preparing for a huge, um, like, expedition of taking down this hill right here, but, uh, hmm. Guess it's not gonna be as hard as I thought. All right, I'll be right back in like 10 seconds. Probably didn't even take 10 seconds. All right, now I just need to fill some of this in to make space for the platform. Remember, it needs to be an 11 by 11 area that we have completely clear. And of course, I want it to look somewhat nice, though the Intermen have really been tearing down this place around here. But we should be just fine. Um. Get rid of that piece right there. So now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, we're getting there. Let me just add a few more blocks in here and we should be okie dokie. And a few block placements and a drink later, we are now ready to start placing down the corners here. So, um, if we say the corners should be right like here, then we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, right there. 
and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then basically get those to... Uh, that's very close to that, eh? Ideally, I would have liked that a little bit further away. So I think I might place down a few more blocks just to just keep the platform here going a little bit further. Uh, because, yeah, I want it back a little bit more. Alright, that is a lot. Hold on. Uh, okay, now where have I counted wrong here? Uh, okay. Yep, that is right, right there. Now, I do realize that uh, I need to keep in mind the beacon, like the area of effect, but it's 50 blocks, so we should be good. If you take a look at this, one chunk is 16 blocks. So, from here, like from here, well, all the way over there to the red one, and from this blue line to that red line is 16 blocks only. So, and then that red over, over there would be 32 from this blue one right there so we have plenty of uh this should this should be pretty good it should be pretty good um yeah let's uh okay so what is this what's next here i'm dead uh, i'm losing my train of thought i'm gonna go ahead and make all of these into slabs because we're going to need the best slabs anyway um for the farm that we're gonna build so let's go down here and place these now, I just want a simple, like, frame here for the beacon, I guess. Now, I don't want to take up all the t this episode's time with uh, this project. I just want the frame here down, and I think that is pretty good. Now, I think to decorate it, we should get some soul torches, if I could get any. Aha! Uh -huh, I can. Soul torches. Perfect. They're gonna look beautiful with this. That is not looking bad at all. Now, we need to take the gold from the treasure box right here. I'm just gonna take this stack. It's not gonna be enough whatsoever. Um, but it actually I will take these and I'll make as many gold blocks as I can because the more progress we get towards this, the better. Um, in terms of progression, this is 70 blocks in total. I think it's still not enough because last time I checked, nine by nine is 81. This is kinda satisfying though, placing down full gold blocks. It, it sounds pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, we're... Uh, oh, no, we're not gonna have enough, unfortunately, to finish the first layer. But it's very, very close. And if we have time at the end of this episode, Maybe we will, but I think I might do some gold gathering off camera. Just go ahead and mine some gold, but um, but yeah, we're getting, we're getting closer now. We just need to put it up one more, one more, and finally one last one, and then we can place the beacon. Now, the next part of this video, farming these guys, because we need a stable food source. Yes, we have food right now, and yes, we have a bunch of golden carrots up here, but it's not going to last forever. We need something that can give us food forever. And that is exactly what we will be doing. Do I have silk touch on any of this? Um, I do. Because I want to make sure that I don't lose these items here. So I think I'm gonna make a couple more slabs. I think, yeah, something like that. And then I'm going to place everything that we need for this inside this ender chest. And then I'm gonna bring the ender chest with me. Um, and you'll see what we will be actually building here in a minute. Grab the ender chest. Bunk. Like so. And now I just gotta not die with this stuff. <laughs> we should be fine. How dare you stand on my gold. Now the dangerous bit. We need to go that way, if I remember correctly, because I already found... Okay, you know what? We're just gonna wing it. We're fine. This is fine. Yeah, we need to go... Huh. Question is, do I remember where we need to go exactly or not? Huh, nope, I went the complete other way than where I needed to be. I need to be... Not in, not in the lava, but I need to be... Uh, carefully close to it. We need to be somewhere out there. And I need... Yeah, we need to be out somewhere out there. Because what we basically need is a lava pool like this. 
Um, but where it still is in the biome scripts forest. And as you can see right here, um, at the biome, right there, it says biome Minecraft Crips and Forest. So that is what it needs to be because Hucklet spawned there. Now I need to be like down there. So I need to pillar my way. Um, well, not pillar, but dig my way there without accidentally falling down there. All right, I need to get safely down here. Okay, okay. What are we at? Uh, all right. So firstly, I'm going to dig out a bunch of this stuff right here because I need some building blocks, and this should be done very quickly with this amazing pickaxe right here. Yep, this should be good. Now I need to get to. I think right about. Uh, hmm. Because I want to a straight path, and I think this right here should work. I want to be kinda in the middle of that land over there and that land there. All right. I think right here should be good. So if we just make a little bit of a platform, this is scary. Uh, if we just make a little bit of a platform here, we should be good. Also, this might be a good opportunity to get a strider in maybe the next episode. Um, yeah, right here should be pretty good. And if we take a look at F3G, right here is the border between these two chunks. Perfect. So, I will explain more once we get to where we need to be. Now, I need to do the... Not impossible, but dangerous. I need to bridge out like this for about 50 blocks. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I'll see you in a bit. Uh, I just cannot let go of the shift key. Otherwise, yeah, this would be very bad. Very bad. Of course, I run out of netherrack right when I'm close to being there. Well, I just gotta get some more then. All right, so right around that blue line, right here, like so, perfect. All right, so let me explain a little bit of what is going to happen here. Basically, it will be a farm. Um, it's, this is first off, uh, <laughs> this is not a farm made designed by me or made by me. Um, I saw a video from Ray Works, Race Works. Race work or Ray works? Uh, race works. Um, I will leave a link to the video I saw down below in the description where he basically showed off a very tiny but very efficient uh, Hucklin farm. And that is the one that we will be making today. Now, let me show you a little bit of what is going to happen. Um, I'm going to use a trick that I showed in my previous tutorials of making a Hucklin farm that I made. But basically, um, what I mentioned is putting down your rent distance to 2x2 two two chunks before you load in the world will make the game only load in those two chunks, making mob spawning a lot better when you're in that specific chunk um, for a farm like this. Um, so basically what I'm looking for here is basically two chunks um, from this area around us being pretty much free and just being lava so as, we, as you can see i'm in this chunk right here and you can see those red markers over there is the next chunks this chunk that i'm standing in and those um inside those red markers over there will be loaded in what is beyond will not be and the same over here you can see that red marker there and red marker there and as you can see it is pretty far to the next land over there and if we stand right here, you can see there's this chunk and then the red marker there. And so we are pretty much in the clear right here. So this will be the center of the farm. Now, one thing that I did forget to bring was iron because we will be needing four hoppers, unfortunately. But we have a lot of iron, so we are able to afford this. Um, yeah, this part is a little bit expensive, but I would say that it's definitely worth it for basically infinite food. And the farm is very close as well. We just walk down, walk back here. There's a staircase right here. And then walking down here and then right down here. And then the farm will be over there. So it's nice and close actually. With those materials gathered, it is time to take the quartz bricks and the mini ladders. Because I think we will be making the AFK pillar 
first, just to make it easier. So, I think if the chunk is right here, maybe go out one more, like so, and then start the uh, pillar right here. So, we need to go up 38 blocks. Um, this is gonna be pretty interesting. Also, I chose quartz bricks for this, just to make it a little bit more pretty. Now I need to count. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh no. 12, huh? Hmm. Uh, 12, <laughs> 13, 14, and we could basically continue with not quartz, but with uh, netherrack. Please survive. The rest of the way. We might do that just to save on the quartz here. Because really, it's just gonna be a ladder going up. So, I think doing something like this, and then. Yeah, filling this in. Maybe placing a ladder here and here. And go. <laughs> this is scary. Okay, I think. Am I on the ladder? I am indeed. Kinda. Okay, this, this is gonna be tricky. <laughs> ah, okay. Alright, so, I need to count now going up. And actually I don't need to count because I believe I took the exact amount of ladders that I need. So I can basically just keep placing ladders until, well, I run out of ladders. So this could actually work very well. This process might be a little bit slow. But we'll get there in the end. Uh, huh? Okay, yep, we're getting there. Steadily. Huh? What? Well then. This is... Wow. Well, I mean, Huglids can't spawn in here. Except for this place. Um... But all I need to do is just fill this area in, so it's just one, and I should be good, I think, unless baby Hucklets spawn in. It's, I don't think it's a too big of a deal. But that's, it's just kind of funny, I just poked out here and, huh? <laughs> and there's no, like, terrain, it's just this weird, very low cave. Huh. And final two ladders right eh. here. This will be our AFK spot. I might have some trapdoors there, but we'll get to that. All right, cool. I didn't even need all this quartz for this pillar. All right, that's cool. I mean, I can replace it in the future, but for right now, we also need quartz for the actual farm, so we want to be resource efficient. Now, here's the reason why I have brought all these slabs, is so I can place them right here, so no mobs can actually spawn on the bridge itself. Now, I will have to add some railing, just to make this a lot safer for myself. Uh, because right now it is very easy to accidentally walk over, but for right now this should do the trick. So I'll just add these real quick. Alright, now the interesting part right here, and I hope I get all of this right, because I am following a screenshot I made. Um, so, we could just gotta place these temporary blocks right here, and we will break. Yikes, that breaks fast. Okay, I want to break that. And why didn't I bring... Okay, why didn't I bring all the resources I needed with me? Of course, I forgot the four chests that I needed for the Harpers back home. That's a problem. You are not supposed to spawn yet. Oh, we get to test out the new sword. Ow. We get to test out the new sword. And it is working pretty nicely. Be gone. Be gone. I said be gone, thank you. Four hoppers right there. Kind of a pain, but it's gonna yield us some good results. Now what we need to do is place a double chest right there and put some hoppers pointing into the chest right there. Please don't fall in the lava, that would be a pain. And there we go, that is that part pretty much done. I'm gonna place some slabs right here because this is actually going to be the killing chamber. So we're gonna do that, get a few, and do that, get rid of those. Then we need to go three up right here. So boop, 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 boop. Cool. Now here is going to be the interesting part. This is basically going to be the platform 
where the hucklins will spawn. And this needs to be a one, two, three, four, five, six wide, like so. I believe I'm remembering everything correctly. Um, I think. All right, I just checked, it is six, but the final row right here needs to be a little bit different. So I need to make this first. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then fill this in for at least five blocks right here. And I can actually do stuff right now. I need to put the soul soil here and then do that. Take this out, put two soul soils here. Now I should mention that my this build that I'm doing right here is a little bit different from the one that Ray showed in his video. One, two, three, four, five, six, right there. Yeah, it's a little bit different than the one Raceworks showed in his video. I changed the position of the soul sand a little bit, but it's not a huge thing whatsoever. I just wanted it to be more symmetrical. <laughs> that is literally it. Warped fungus, right? Hold on. Where did I go wrong here? <laughs> That's not right. Of course I dropped it in the lava. Now I need to go and get a new one. All right, we can place this now. Place that like so, and then we just need, not those, we need some fence gates right here. And then for this part here, this is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting. Firstly, we want to place some torches down here in the middle to prevent spawning of, uh, what are they called? Piglins, because we don't want them spawning here and this light level will ensure that they will not. Now, I believe if I remember correctly, ah yes, I can see it on the picture right now. So I need to play, basically place the blocks like so. And then we need these trap doors. So two here, like so. And then I believe, I know one is here. And then I think the other one is gonna be here. Yeah, like that. That will trick them into thinking they can get walk down here and be safe, but they cannot. So this will basically, these fungus right here will basically uh, take the hucklins and make them run away for their lives and run straight into some lava that we will have here. Speaking of lava, we need some signs uh, like so. So we need to place them like that. Uh, am I forgetting something here? I don't think so. So then I need to just allow myself out. And I then need to take my one lava bucket and firstly ensure that I'll be safe doing this. Place it right there. And that is basically how we will get automatic cooked pork chop like so. And I think we're pretty much done here. Yeah. That's that's the farm. Now here is the bit that I do, and that is, well, first off we need to remove, well, we need to make this look a little bit nicer. So I'm gonna place these like so. Hold on, first we gotta get this done here. Ugh. Now the only minus with what I've done here is we will have some floating lava, but you know what, we're just gonna ignore it. It's all right. It's not gonna be very noticeable anyway. So we're gonna do that, do that. Okay, that right there is noticeable. Um, maybe I can just do something like this. And then make it on this side too. Yeah, that looks better. Final touch. Boom. Actually, I might continue that for that. There we go. So, this chat. Ah, I didn't think of that. Now, because I placed the signs on the slabs, I should be able to do this. Nice. Now, we need those blocks there so they don't run out, at least the baby ones. So, uh, let me make some stairs here real quick. Of course, you cannot make stairs out of quartz bricks. Of course you can't. Why would you be able to do that? That would be silly. All right, now, how do I get these placed? Actually, that... That was a very simple answer to my <laughs> to my question. And there we go. We can open the chest. Give me that. And we can climb. 
up. So the farm is now pretty much complete. Now one final thing that I want to do is to just make this a little bit more safe by adding, like I said, a, um, a fence-like thing here. And I think I want to make it like so. And then just make it go all the way back, just so the risk of falling into the lava isn't as huge. I don't know if I have any more slabs, but if I don't, uh, we'll just have to do and I'll do the rest off camera, I guess. Excuse me. Oh, oh no. I'm placing these. Oh no. Uh, uh, this is actually, these are defeating the purpose. They're supposed to be... There's supposed to be one, one down. No. Uh, uh, okay, that's, hmm. That's, that's bad. Uh, okay, I gotta, I gotta remake all these now. Having another right axe would be really handy right about now. This is better. This is the right way of doing it. <laughs> that's the wrong way of doing it. Stop that. I'm happy I didn't get further with this, because otherwise this would have been annoying to take down and or even worse I could have died from it that would have been even worse and there we go nice our bridge is now semi safe I can still jump on it but that's fine um, I might if I can add that little bit right there to kind of make it seem a little bit more realistic no not like that all right now to show this farm Fully, I'm gonna go up here into the AFK space. Well, I might actually just grab a little bit of netherrack here and Go up and fill some of that area in and then I'll AFK for say hmm, 30 minutes maybe or something like that and then we'll see how much food we actually have and ready to eat food even not even not even raw food ready to eat food all right, now it's all flat down here, so I'm gonna go up to this spot. Uh, I should be safe here, nothing should spawn here where I stand right now. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into options, video settings, and lower the render distance to two chunks, then save and quit to title, and then get back into the world. All right, logging back in, and now we should only have uh, two chunks around us loaded. So I'm now going to stand here for like 30 minutes. I actually have another video to record So I'll do that while this is running and uh, I'll be right back with you in about 30 minutes And let's see how much we got and how well this works. I've not tested this in this world before so um, Let's hope that it works as it should um, It should anyway, it, it should work <laughs> I got yeah, 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 I'm gonna go now the, the, the. I'll see you in 30 minutes. All right, I have been AFK here for about 30 minutes, maybe a little bit over, but let us now see how much we actually have from this farm. So, going down the ladder. Anytime now. All right, finally, looking at the chest. Nice, that is a lot of food, and that was only for 30 minutes of AFK. This food, I've gotten this much food for Basically 30 minutes of just standing and doing something else. Now you might already have seen this. The farm is at another place. And yes, because uh, da, 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 yeah, um, I had to move the farm. Basically the old farm location is right over, you can already see it, right there. And after I had AFK for 30 sec, not 30 seconds, it's 30 mm -hmm. After I had AFK for 30 minutes, um, seven cooked pork chop was in the chest. So obviously something was wrong, and turned out that there was actually a massive land area above it. So, oof. But I relocated it to this place, and as you can see, it has worked beautifully. I will leave a link to uh, race works tutorial down below in the description if you want to make this farm um, And also just to give credit because it's an amazing small farm and yeah, it's really cool But anyways that will do it for this episode. I did not expect having to rebuild this thing, but um, I had to but anyways that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, I am still thinking about a gold farm and maybe some XP farm and stuff like that. So we will be making more farms in the future. Do not worry. Also, there's a lot of spiders around. We uh, may have to do something about that. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this one. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like because it really helps out. And subscribe if you haven't already, of course. And uh, yeah, 
Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and goodbye. Contalana, where do you see? Zapu, OF.